not my real eyelash. I am so sick of people asking me this. Like, why does it matter? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl B. And if y'all can't already tell from the title down below, today's video is gonna be a QA mukbang. Um, so basically what I did was I thought about questions that people have either asked me in person or on social media. So like I went on my on my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my um TikTok, and I looked for questions that people ask me all the time and i thought about questions that people in person ask me all the time and i decided to go ahead and answer them for everybody but um yeah so before we get into this video y'all already know what to do make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel follow me on all social medias comment down below do the whole 360 and without further ado we finna get straight into this mukbang because i'm hungry but yeah Ooh, I'm too fat to be sitting on this damn floor. So I'm finna just jump straight into eating my food cause I'm hungry. And if y'all don't know what I'm eating, I'm eating some chicken strips, homemade chicken strips that I accidentally kinda overcooked. And I'm eating me some fries. Want some? And I got my ranch. And my honey mustard from um, oh, oh, there we go. And my honey mustard from Wendy's, cause I went to Wendy's earlier, and I ain't eat all my honey mustard. And um, yeah, I got my lemonade. So we finna jump straight into answering these questions and eat. But um, and I'm sorry if y'all can't see my food, y'all, but it's okay. So, I wouldn't say that people ask me these questions on an everyday basis, but people ask me these questions at least every other week, for real. So, we finna jump straight into it. Okay, question, hold on. Okay, so, oh, and don't judge me, y'all, if y'all see that I got my phone backwards, because I actually type the questions on my phone my other phone but i'm using that to record i took a picture of the questions from this phone no off of this phone from that phone if that makes sense i don't know but basically i used this phone to take a picture of my notes so i can see the questions but when i took the picture i took the picture holding the phone like this and so the like if y'all look the questions is like sideways so that's why I'm holding it backwards so the questions can be... Okay, now it's not doing nothing at all. Well, I guess I just have to hold it like... Oh, there it goes. So yeah, so now I'm holding it upside down so I can see the questions correctly, but it look like it's upside down on the... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. But anyway, so question number one, how old are you? Now, I already know. I got this question off TikTok. People ask me that all the time. I am 22. I uh, just turned 22 September the 4th. So my birthday literally was like a, like two weeks ago. Um, yeah, I'm a Virgo. Y'all comment down below if y'all yeah, if y'all Virgo, cause I just want to know how many Virgos watching my videos. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sorry if I end up doing more eating than talking, but I'm hungry for you. Okay, so here, y'all get the first bite. So, okay, so good. Let me open my honey mustard. But question number two is what school did you go to? And a lot of people, now this question, and this is a question that people always ask me in person, especially like people who I'm just now meeting. For the first time, they always ask me that question. I don't know why. Why do people ask me that question? Anyway, 
Um, the school that I went to it was West Memphis High School. Well, at first they they named it West Memphis High School, but then they changed it to Academy to West Memphis. I don't know why. I guess to like make it seem like we a fancy school, even though we know we not no fancy school. Just a regular smegler public school. And yeah. Um, question number three. What city do you live in? A lot of people on social media ask me this question. And I live in West Memphis, Arkansas. If y'all didn't notice, that's why I talk country. Because I'm from the South. Oh, and that's another question. Even though that question was like, I think, what question was that? Um, it was like question number... Hold on, let me try to find it. Mm. Oh, number 12. Why do you talk like that? Because for one, like I said, I'm from the South. Um, so if, how, it, like, if y'all, like, honestly, I, what does that even mean? Why do you talk like that? Now, if y'all would have, if they would have said, like, why do you have a, a accent or something, then I know what they talking about. But don't just say, why you talk like that? But I'm assuming that they saying, like, you know, like, why you talking like that? Like, you got an accent or something. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming. But this question ties into the the last question I just answered. I talk like this because I am from Arkansas. I am a country, country gal. Okay, question number four. Now, people ask me this in person and in social media. Are you single? No, I'm not single. I am actually engaged. Uh, me and my fiance, we're gonna get married next year, September, next year in September. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and to go along with that question, a lot of people always asking me, always asking me. They be like, are you ready to get married? You don't think you too young to get married? No, I don't think I'm too young to get married. Because I feel like at 22, you got a good judge of character and you know who you want to be with. I mean, why not? I feel like ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, I love my fiance. And my fiance love me. Why not? Okay. So... I just answered like six questions, but I'm just gonna say I'm on question. Yeah, I answered, I don't know. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna. It, I supposed to have 22 questions, but I probably, I probably just added some questions in because you know how like when y'all answer something, like you know how like when y'all think about, like when y'all, anyway. Question number five, no, question number six. Wait, no, question number five. Are you still in school? Yes, I am still in school. I um I am currently in school to be a surgical technologist. So yeah, I'm still in school. And what school I go to, yeah, I don't need to know that. Um question number six. Oh, question number six was what are you in school for? To be a surgical technologist. Just said that. Um, question number seven. This question, people ask me this all the time, mainly people in public, like people who I see in person, they ask me this. They be like, are those your real eyelashes? Yeah. Yeah, these my real eyelashes. Yes. Yes, they my real eyelashes. Yeah. No, hell no, these not my real eyelashes. I am so sick of people asking me this. Like, why does it matter? Like, these not my real eyelashes. I wear lash extensions. Well, not lash extensions, but I wear, like, the strips, and I put them on myself. But, no, these are not my real eyelashes. Stop asking me that. But, yeah. Nah, these not my real lashes. Okay, question number nine. No, question number eight. Now, this is a question that people in person be asking me. Most of these, a few of them was from social media, but most of them questions that people ask me in person. And this one is, why do you always wear eyelashes? Um, why do you always take a bath? 
because I want to wear lashes. You want to be clean and I want to wear lashes. The fuck? Question number nine, do you wear makeup? Yes, I wear makeup. Like, yes. People be asking dumb questions sometimes. Like, you know how when you was in school, a teacher be like, no questions, it's a dumb question or, or whatever. Yeah, these dumb questions. Well, some of them. Um, yes, I wear makeup. I wear foundation, concealer, do my eyebrows, um, eyeliner, all that. Well, right now I don't got on foundation. Right now I just got on a little concealer, but I normally wear foundation. Yes, I wear makeup. Um, question number nine, no, ten. Is this is that your real hair? No, this is not my real hair. I grabbed it from the horse's ass and I shoved it in my head. No, no, no. This is not my real hair. I love weave. I love weave. I I mean, I got hair, but I just love weave. Like, it's so much easier for a black girl. Because, like, when you wash your hair... Well, for me, when I wash my hair, it be hell and hot water trying to detangle it and, you know, style it and it be dry and all that. It's just so much easier to either, you know, to just put a cap on, put your wig on and go. Like, so much easier. A wig is so much easier to style or like a sew-in or whatever. So much easier to style. I wear sew-ins as well, but I mainly wear wigs. This is a wig. Just slap it on and go. Yeah. So, no, this is not my real hair. No. Okay, question number 12. Oh, I already answered that. Why you talk like that? Uh, question number 13. How did you find your house? And a lot of people ask me this, um, considering that I'm 22, and, you know, they be like, how did you build your credit or woo, 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 what you do? That was so good but um how we found our house um well at first me and my boyfriend well he was my boyfriend at the time we was living in a apartment and he kept on saying how he wanted a house because we got two dogs we got a pit bull slash uh i think he a pit bull slash boxer or something like that I can't remember him, but I know he a pit bull, but I forgot. Because I know he a mixed breed, but I can't remember what he mixed with. Don't judge me. But I know he part pit bull, and then we got a shih tzu. Um, so the shih tzu, which is Goldie, she's small, so it really wasn't no, that really wasn't no big deal, you know, for her. But by Roman, which is my uh, pit bull slash boxer, uh, I think that's what he is, yeah, slash boxer. I know he a pit, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, Roman, like, for Goldie, it wasn't a big deal, but for Roman, it was a big deal because, you know, with Roman, he want to, you know, run around, get exercise, just he loved being outside, and, you know, the apartment complex that we were staying in, we wasn't allowed to have pets, so we just started looking for houses, and then my fiance told his grandparents that we, that we was looking for a house, and they basically let us meet with a realtor uh we found his house yeah so that's how we found it and um they will do a credit check but my fiance grandparents helped us with that so yeah next question um are you ready to get married? Did I already answer that? Yes, I'm ready to get married. I think I already answered that. Um, when is the wedding? I already answered that. September of next year. Um, why do you want to get married at a courthouse? Okay, now you y'all if y'all probably can't tell, but I can tell that this question did not come from social media. This question definitely came from somebody who asked who asked me this in person. Um the reason why I wanted to get married at a courthouse is because, like, for one, a wedding is expensive. And, yeah, I want to, 
you know, share their experience with my family and friends. But shoot, we could have did that with a reception. We could have got married at the courthouse. I still wore my dress. He still wore his tux. And, um, and we could have, um, you know, got married at the courthouse, just me and him. Maybe one person from his side and one person from my side, and we could have had like a nice reception for the um for the um family. And plus, that way you save money from the wedding, and you can put more money uh on your honeymoon, duh. Cause for our honeymoon, I really want to go to Dubai or probably Mexico. My boyfriend want to go to my fiance want to go to Mexico, so we might just go to Mexico. But yeah, and plus. My boyfriend family way bigger than my family, and I feel like he gonna have more people on his side than I'm gonna have people on my side. So that's another reason why. But whatever, we still gonna have this wedding ceremony. Next question. Um, when are y'all gonna have kids? Now, my, mainly my family be asking me these, this question because, you know, my, well, my family and my friends, because, you know, I'm getting married and they be like, well, kids next. <laughs> no. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't want no kids right now. Like, I'm 22. I feel like I'm kind of too young to have kids right now still. Now, people who have kids before 22... I mean, that's y'all, but for me, I don't want no kids right now because I'm not, you know, stable completely. Like, I want to, I don't know, I just want a career first before I have kids. But, yeah, now, I'm not saying that kids stop anything, but it show, they show as hell slow stuff all the way down. Now, like I said, they don't stop nothing at all, but they do slow the process down because, you know, you got to, you can't just think about yourself. You got to think of about your kid, plus your career, plus everything else. So, yeah. Give me some money before I get some kids. But, um, um, let's see. Let me get my chicken strip. My chicken strip. Give me my chicken strip. This is so good. Y'all, and if y'all don't know how to make homemade chicken strips, literally, go to Walmart, somewhere, Costco, wherever you want to go, and get boneless chicken breasts, slice some joints up, batter it, boom. Because I promise you, y'all, my chicken strips so good. They may be overcooked. They may be slightly overcooked, but shoot Okay, y'all, so what number am I on? Question number 18. So the last question was, do you want kids? And this question, how many? Now, specifically, my grandma, she always asking me this question, always. Um, How many kids you want? Honestly, to start off with, I want two, but before I die, I want four, maybe five. I don't know, because I just... Because I got a brother, but we didn't, you know, we never lived together. We didn't grow up together. I'm sorry, y'all. My dog is literally laying right here, and she, because I'm, okay. I know I'm getting off subject, but let me just say this real quick. Okay, so, like, my boyfriend told me that dogs can see paranormal activity. So, that's why, or, like, you know, dogs can sense danger or whatever. That's why whenever my dog stop and listen, best believe I'm stopping and listening too. Because for real, your dogs is your warning sign. That's another reason why I got them. But um, how many kids I want for? And the reason why is because I want a big family. Like, I don't know, like, like I said, I got a brother, but we never like grew up together. And so I basically was like the only child in my household. And so I got bored and lonely sometimes. And, like, I want my kid to have somebody to play with and somebody to fight with. So, if your sister swing, you better swing, too. Or when y'all get to the house, getting towed up. I'm not playing. If one sibling fight, God damn it, they all better fight. And I'm not playing. But, okay, let me find. Let me, okay. 
question number 19. Are you still in business? Hold on, how you do that teacup? Sip tea. Hold on. Sip tea. But um right as a God dog. No, I'm not in business. And if y'all like probably wondering what, what business, what you what you talking about? Um, if y'all a new subscriber or if y'all just didn't watch the video, it was probably like maybe five videos ago when I was explaining how I'm starting my own um, loungewear line. Um, I ordered a whole bunch of products and I sold literally probably 10% of my stuff. Literally. Oh God. But literally, I only sold 10% of my stuff. Like, maybe I just need to do a uh, better, what's it called, uh, advertising. But, no, as of right now, I'm not in business, but I will be, because I ain't going to give up. I'm not going to never give up on my dream. Uh, 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 um, why are you so mean? OMG. Now, this question, people ask me this on social media and in person. They ask me. What's wrong? But they asked me why I'm so mean. I'm not mean. It's just, I mean, if I don't feel like talk, I'm the type of person, if I don't feel like talking and you keep trying to talk, I'm going to let you know, politely, leave me alone. So if that's mean, then I'm sorry. And plus, boys only ask you, why are you so mean? Because they want to talk to you. And I'm not interested, so that's another reason why. But anyway, um, I got two more questions. Question number 21. Why are you so nonchalant? Now, this question is kind of weird to me because people be, be asking me that all the time. Like, why are you so nonchalant? But I didn't know I was nonchalant. Like, this one girl even told me, she was like, you gonna get beat up one day because you say stuff and you don't care. And it's like, you just don't know that you said it or something. You just so nonchalant. And I'm like, hmm, well, I hope I don't get beat up. Because I don't think I'm nonchalant. But, hey, I, it is what it is. Like, I don't think I'm nonchalant. I don't think. Mm. Okay, last and least, I was going to say last but not least, but this is the last one. Um, Why are you so short? How about, how about y'all go to my parents and ask them, how come y'all didn't grow so Brenda can grow too? So Brenda can be tall. I don't know why I'm so short. I guess genetics. My grandma short, my mama short, my auntie short. I guess it's just genetics. But honestly, I'm not that short. I'm five two. I mean, I could be four eleven. Um, I'm not that short. But you guys, mm 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 mm, look so good on it. I know. Okay, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this Q&A mukbang. I hope I answered, like, most of the questions that people be asking me because I know some of my subscribers on here is from, like, Instagram or from TikTok and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so I hope I answer all y'all questions. And for the people who be seeing me in person, if y'all watching this, I hope, you know, y'all questions are answered. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. And I'll see y'all in my next video.